Hey everyone, today I'd like to demo Static Cling's first rack extension release, Tome. Tome is a rack extension that allows you to quickly visualize how to play scales, melodies, and more on keyboard and most string instruments. With it, you can put away the theory books, stop googling scales, and move beyond memorization to focus on what really matters, making great music. Let's take a look at how it works. We'll start by looking at the scale visualization features. First, you'll select the key. We'll stick with the key of C for now. Second, you'll set your scale. There's a lot to choose from, but we'll go with the major scale for this demo. And lastly, you pick your instrument. We're also going to stick with piano for the time being and move to string instruments in a moment. Tome is now showing you how to play the C major scale on piano. Note that the key is shown in blue and the rest of the notes are shown in green, all beside their note names. You can pan left and right by clicking and dragging inside the instrument display. The piano shows the entire MIDI note range from C-2 all the way up to G8. Similarly, you can change the zoom of the instrument by dragging up across the bottom in the same manner. Let's try changing the key to G major to see how black keys are displayed. Note how the root has now moved and F has been replaced by an F sharp. Now that we've seen how the piano display works, let's take a look at the string instruments. Let's see how to play the same scale, G major, on guitar. As you can see, the navigation controls are exactly the same as piano. The range for all string instruments is two octaves above the open string notes. We'll take a quick look at an instrument with four strings, the violin, before moving on to show you guys how to set up your own custom string instruments. This is great for people whose instrument of choice isn't found in the set of presets, or if you want to visualize scales in a non-standard tuning. The custom preset defaults to the open strings of a guitar, but can be customized to just about anything. Here I demonstrate how to change the number of strings. By clicking the lower part of the nut, you can reduce the number down to one, and by clicking the upper, you can increase it up to six. Now let's change the notes of the open strings. To change the open string by one, drag up or down in the left half of the open string box. And just like that, we can see how to play G major and drop D. When you want to change an open string by an octave, drag in the right half of the open string box. This is useful for when you need to set up a custom string instrument that is nothing like the default guitar string tuning. Please note that these string customization features will only work if you set the instrument to the custom preset. And with that, we've covered the functionality of the scale visualization features. Now let's dive into the MIDI visualization features of Tome. There are three ways to provide MIDI input. I'll start with the most direct and end with the most robust. For starters, always ensure you are looking at the proper octave of your MIDI input. This is an easy mistake to make, especially on piano. To provide MIDI input directly to Tome, play it as if it were an instrument. MIDI is color-coded, yellow for notes that are found in the scale, and red for those that are not. If you don't like this kind of visual correction, set your scale to chromatic. Here I loop some polyphonic input. Let's see what it looks like when we switch to guitar. Like with the piano, the input is color-coded and allows us to see all the different voicings for a given chord. Now for method two, CV. Here I hook up the outputs of an RPG-8 to the gate in and note in of Tome. When I provide input to the RPG-8, we'll see that the arpeggiation is visualized on Tome nicely. I've included the ability to daisy chain tomes so you can see multiple MIDI visualizations side by side from the same CV device. When connected like so, we see that the RPG-8 CV output goes into both tomes. Please note that due to limitations in the polyphony of CV output, I do not recommend daisy chaining with instruments. That's where this last method comes in. If you want to send direct MIDI input from a keyboard to multiple tomes or to a tome and an instrument, Combinator is the best way to go. For this to work as intended, you need to go into the programmer of the Combinator and select each tome and set them to receive MIDI input. This is not on by default due to the fact that tome is a utility and not an instrument. Here I've set up two tomes and a radical piano. Breathtaking, huh? I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of Tome's core functionality and can see how practical and effective the device is. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out at the email shown. And thanks for watching.